Alright, so first thing you're gonna do is import your footage, press control I on your keyboard. Next step is to get all your clips organized. So like what you want in the specific spot. I'm just gonna go through this and you press shift control D to cut. Alright, so now your clip you're gonna press alt control T. So press D on your keyboard. And now you're gonna make a keyframe at the beginning. I'm gonna zoom this in. After you have that first keyframe, you're going to go towards the end and then you're going to make another keyframe to make a graph. So first, we have to select both of them and then you're going to press F9 on your keyboard or just right click one of them. Keyframe is the same, easy ease. But now you're going to go into your graph editor, a value graph, and then you're going to make one like this. Okay, now after this, we may need to move this one a little bit forward. We're going to go past this keyframe, and then we're going to move this time backwards. So then it reverses. Now if we play this back, you may need to edit the graph as well too. To fix like this, like, I don't know, stiffness, you need to click this two times. My time remapping is all done. It's time for the extra effects. Alright, so as far as the extra effects, I'm just gonna make this like a glitchy type edit. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Make a new adjustment layer. Control Alt Y. Yep, Control Alt Y. Make an adjustment layer. And then you're gonna put it over all your clips if you want. Or you can just duplicate it on the next clip after. I am going to add some blur. I'm gonna do BCC blur. You can also do Gaussian blur. I'm going to make a stopwatch for iris scale. And then I'm gonna to go towards the end. Well, towards the middle actually. Change it to zero. And then I'm gonna to go towards the end and change it to 15 again. But it might be a little bit too blurry, so I'm gonna change this to about like 10. And then highlight all of them, right click one of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease, or press F9, go into your graph editor. And then we can just do a graph like this. All right, that's pretty good. Now I could just duplicate this onto all my other clips. Control D and then put it on top of your clip. And then you might need to adjust it because these aren't the same length so yeah make sure if you want to to add brightness and contrast so at the beginning we're going to change the brightness to about 50 click the stopwatch go towards the middle again and then change it to zero and then go towards the end again and change it to like negative 50 because we kind of want it to like flash easy ease them you really don't need to do the graph but i'm going to do like a little graph towards the end So this looks all good, honestly. And now, what we're going to do is add the one frame glitches. So the first effect I'm going to add is echo. This is kind of like this effect right here. I don't know how to explain it. I'm actually going to add this in the intro right here. So then it's kind of like, you know, whatever. So we are actually going to add turb, turbulent displace. And then we're going to change these settings. Horizontal, yeah. Change the amount change the size and then we're going to go to the beginning of our clip and then we're going to change the amount go towards the end and then change it to zero to be honest i kind of want to use my plugins but at the same time i want to use no plugins because i know you guys don't have plugins well some of you i'm going to add saturation on this part like so what this really needs is some shakes probably so i'm gonna make another adjustment layer for the shakes control alt y and then for the shakes i really don't do shakes from scratch so i'm gonna use my plugins but i'm sure there's other tutorials out there without plugins this is the shake settings amplitude one to zero and then this is y shake settings x shake settings and then twitch amount 30 and then enable slide I need that motion tile because After Effects loves to put that black border on there. Oh, bro. For this part right here, I'm going to add some bad TV. All right, period. Too very low. Period. Too very low.
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I hope you learned something new. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.